Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to be going outside and working on the RV to install some cabinet door supports for an overhead cabinet. So come on along and join me outside. We'll see how this little install goes. I picked these up on Amazon for uh, just a few dollars. I don't know what the cancer and reproductive harm issue is. I guess that's if you break it open and decide to drink the fluid that's inside, but we're not going to be doing that. And I'm sure you won't either. So in the package you'll have two of these struts. These are actually spring-loaded, not gas. And you'll have a package that contains two pivot screws and then your mounting screws for the top bracket. So you'll have a screw that goes through here into your frame. And you want to make sure that this is lined up this way, not this way. Don't let that confuse you. Since this did not come with any directions, I went online and did a search and found out that the way you line up this spring is you want the dimension from this hole up to the top of your frame that to be five and a half inches so I'll remove this piece of hardware measure five and a half inches I'll drill a pilot hole since this is particle board if your installation is uh, soft wood you probably don't need to do that just take a little center punch get your hole marked and punched and start your screw and what you know that five and a half inches hits right above the hardware hole but we'll pre-drill it and see how it goes from the top of the door about a half an inch. So I'll mark those holes, pre-drill, and give it a test. Right now I want to set the depth of my drill so that it is no longer than the length of my screw or just a little short of it because I don't want to drill through the face of that door panel. Well, that only took a minute or two to put those two screws in. Well, I'm going to try one strut right now to see how that closes. I have a piece of hardware over there that will keep it shut. I think that'll do it. I don't really think I need uh, two struts. Well, that was a real quick tutorial on the RVDesigner.com strut, six and a quarter inch support or opening. Remember, five and a half inches down. Uh, if you want your door to be more horizontal rather than tilted down, you can probably move that strut up and drill some more holes. I'm not going to do that for mine. It seems to work just the way it is. So, I really appreciate you tuning in and watching this video. If you like it, please hit like and subscribe. 
I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.